Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. My name is Carter Nolan. And we are here to discuss three trades right now. So the first, the, I guess the unofficial first day of the trade deadline, as you would, uh, has We're concluded getting close. yesterday. And... We brought with it uh, some interesting trades. So the first one, we're going to go through all the Yarncrook trade, the Vitrano trade, and the Sherat trade. We're going to give all the teams involved in each trade yeah. a letter grade. Yeah. And so we'll discuss it. So the first one is Cal Yarncrook has been traded to the Calgary Flames for a 22, 2022 second, 2023 third, and a 2024 seventh round pick. Yeah. So... Just for a little bit of background, Kelly Arncro is 30 years old. He has 26 points in 49 games and has a plus minus of minus 15 uh, while playing for the Seattle Kraken. Carter, what are your thoughts on this? I feel like this trade all in all is a trade that is actually, unlike some trades that we're about to talk about, is good for both teams. It was, honestly, it was. I, I, I feel like the Flames got a, a, good, a decent haul for this, and I feel like the Kraken gets a decent amount of picks for it. So, all in all, I think it's a pretty solid trade from both both teams involved yeah no i would agree um i would say that while there is no first round pick here i don't think cal yarncroke was ever going to fetch a first round pick no. it was never an option um so getting a second round pick is actually surprisingly second high value. and third yes and and third as well yeah and the flames get a little bit of bolstering on their bottom six which is decent but it could be better yeah. Um, and Kraken just begins to accumulate some more picks, which they did not get last in the, uh, expansion draft, for example. Yeah, they, they didn't get, they didn't, they didn't get those picks the, the way that Vegas did, where teams were constantly trading mm -hmm. picks to protect more guys, so. Yeah, no, so, it's good that they um, that. so, would you, let's just get to the letter grades on this. Uh, Cal Yarncroke, so the Flames get, in my opinion, a, they give up a second round pick, which is a little bit of a, eh, yeah. but I would say, uh, B, B to B minus for the, the Calgary Flames. It's it's a good grade. It's not nothing extraordinary. Um, and the Seattle Kraken would get, I would say, an an A for this trade. Uh, they get a second round pick for Cal Yarncroke, which is he's having a fine year. It's not nothing exceptional, but he's having a fine year. And you get an yeah. A, you get a second round pick, yeah. a third, and a seventh. You can't argue with that. You pretty much just moved an asset for a lot of picks that you'll probably yep. end up putting back into your roster. So A A for Kraken, B minus for Flames, Carter. Yeah. Uh for the Flames, I give them a B. I mean, they they all in all they they didn't have they didn't give up a first round pick, which there are some teams that are willing to really go over the moon when they really shouldn't just to get a player for their playoff run. So them giving not giving up a first, only giving up a sec uh, second, third and a seventh. I give them a B um because they accomplished the goal and um didn't give up an excessive amount, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, for the Kraken, I give them an A minus because I think that they got quite a bit in terms of picks. Uh, if they had gotten that first round pick, though, somehow we could be looking at quite something. But still, a great haul for them, and all, all in all, good trades for both teams. So the next trade we have to report is Frank Vitrano being yeah. traded away from the Florida Panthers. Yes, and this kind of goes into the, th the, next the trade, last but, trade. But yeah. we will keep it separate. Yeah. So they trade away Frank Vitrano to the New York Rangers, uh, and yeah. the Panthers receive a 2022 fourth-round pick. Yeah. So with this pick, this idea of a pick is, or this trade is a salary dump. It yeah. is it's pretty a much... Dump. It is the Florida Panthers moving a guy in their middle six yeah. to for, to hopefully get a guy for their top six and yeah. to clear up possible well, possibly for top six but also yeah. for their top four in defense. But yeah, this this is one of those trades where at first glance, if you if you don't know the cap situation of the teams, you think like, why the hell would the Panthers accept this? Mm -hmm. But it's one of those things where then looking into that, you, you have to realize that they had they had to kind of sacrifice what they were going to get in order to free up that cap space for some future trade yeah, deadline moves. So so. The, the Panthers get a fourth round pick. It probably won't be anything special, but the thing here that I, I like, I like that the Panthers are at least trying to actively bolster a roster. They're not trying to stand idly yes. by. They've been move, They've been making moves for the last two years to make moves at the deadline just to get improvements, and this is obviously one of them. Um, from sure. a perspective of the New York Rangers, I think this is great. I think this is... Yeah a middle sixer because if we're looking at the new york rangers the new york rangers don't need a top six they don't need to no. go through hell and high water for a top six uh player 
And through most reports, the reports are saying that they're mostly just looking for depth pieces to add to the thing. There was some talk about JT Miller. That's mostly gone quiet for the meantime, as yeah. Vancouver seems set to want to re-sign him. So with this move, the Rangers get somebody to insulate into their middle six to bottom nine, depending on how the roster shakes up. And yeah, no, he had a lot. He had a great uh, closing game with the Panthers. He scored the game tying goal and the game winner against yeah. San Jose. So that's nice. Uh, so Panthers get, because it is a cap, it is a cap dump. Panthers, I can only give as high a grade as a C. I would give them, I'd give them a C minus because it is a fourth round pick. I would have asked for a third, but that's me nitpicking. But for cap dumps, I can only give that high, like when isolated. Uh, for the Rangers, however, I will give them a, a B. I think they still want to move. I, st I think they still want players to insulate into the roster. Vitrano's fine, but Vitrano's having not the biggest year. Vitrano, um, for a point comparison, by the way, has 19 points in 49 games. It actually has a minus two on the rain on the uh, Panthers, which is not great considering the Panthers have been extremely well in the goal differential. Yeah. But yeah, I, I would have. I, I think there's still more to do if you're if you're the Rangers. Um, yeah. So what did I say for them? What did I say? Did I say? You said B. I said B. Yeah. Okay, I go B. Oh, be minus because you get a guy for a cheap for a cheap asset. So yeah, your turn. Card. Yeah, I mean, I mean, for the Panthers, cap dump trades are really difficult because it also it's one of those things where the letter grade that you give them also has to kind of it also has to do with does this cap dump pan out? Is it is it worth it to take this cap dump? So for me, uh, maybe C C plus. Yeah, you know, like I could I could see it being. A B minus if it really pans out, uh, but that's that's stretching it. Um, so probably C plus C C plus in that range. For the Rangers, um, I mean, you give up a fourth round pick, you got a solid piece for that, um, and uh, yeah, I probably give them a B plus for uh, B plus for the Rangers. So I, I think I think all things considered, it was a good move. Yeah, so, and then the last trade to report is pretty much the most blockbuster one. Oh, my so, God. So, <laughs> the Montreal Canadiens move Ben Sherratt with 50% uh, salary retained. Uh, the Panthers get Ben Sherratt, who has 18 points in 54 games and a minus 18 uh, for Ty Smilanic. Smilanic uh, or Smilanic, one of the two. A 20, 20, 23 first and a 2022 20, second, uh, fourth round pick. So mm. this is an interesting trade because mm. I here's the thing, I I understand what the Panthers are going for. The Panthers are going all in. They're moving a lot. They cut off both arms and a leg pretty much for Ben Sherratt. Which they threw their wallet at the wall for this one. Yeah, Ben Sherratt also has a career high in twenty one points. Yeah, uh, but no, he's a defensive defenseman, so I understand that. I think. It's tough because if this is the only move they make now, it, it, it isn't. They're still trying to move for Claude Giroux. Then and maybe this will be like fine as well. And it sounds like Giroux is more interested in Florida than he is in Colorado. Apparently, yes. So, like, here's the thing. You could still make moves that would overshadow this, and that would probably be for the best. But it's it's just interesting that you're moving all this just to get a Ben Sherratt. I... I wonder if the price tag could have been lower on this. Like, instead of a first and fourth, you could have done a second and a third. Because here's the thing. Although, this is the weird thing. For months, it felt like people were advertising Ben Sherrod as a first-round pick. And I never understood why. I think maybe, no. like, unless there was the desperation of of the trade deadline. But, like, he isn't worth a first. He's not. He's and worth a second and a third, maybe, but not a first. Yeah, but it's one of those things where, with how desperate teams can get come the trade deadline, Montreal knew that Ben Chirot was at least close enough mm -hmm. to a first round in value that they could get that. So the fact that they were able to get that, and I looked at uh, Smolanik or Smolanix, whatever his name yeah. is, I looked at his uh, Elite Prospects page, and I gotta say, he actually has done... He he looks to be a pretty solid prospect. I mean, in a lot of on a lot of the teams he played on, he averaged a point of game, some above that, some just below that, and uh, and then a fourth round pick thrown in there as well. Uh, you, you, I mean, th this is a clear this is so, a clear Montreal victory. In this so trade. for the Florida Panthers, I would give a grade of 
D plus to C minus. It's one of those where I don't, I need, you need to see, like, don't get me wrong. This could turn into a great train and Ben Sherratt could get like five points, five goals on route to a Stanley Cup playoff, like a Stanley Cup playoff win, series win and cup in general. Yeah. But like at the end, of the, but like, I don't think he's the cog that needed to occur. For the Habs, it's easily an A plus because you get a first Yeesh. round pick and an elite prospect. <laughs> you, you, you add in a fourth, and so, a fourth just for shits and giggles. And the fact is, too, is I think it's underrated. They go for a twenty twenty three first round pick, not a twenty twenty two first round pick, meaning that the Florida Panthers are streaking extremely high right now. Yeah. Meaning that probably next year they will not be as good. So your first round pick goes from like being thirtieth yeah. overall to like twenty fifth. Yeah, I mean, for for me, I mean, for for Montreal, it has to be an A plus. They they got they got the the, the moons, the stars, the planets. They got everything mm -hmm. in this trade. Uh, the Panthers. I can't give it an F, but I'm giving it a D minus. This is bad. Like, like just in the sense of like, this is you're getting. This is the best we've seen Ben Chirot so far. But the question is, is is it really gonna stick like that? I highly doubt it. I think he. I think he will. I, I think he may do a little better, but enough to warrant a first, and so much with it. I. I can't. It's. It's an overpay, and it's quite an overpay. So, um, the fifty percent retained. That. That's nice. That gives him a little bit easier, in terms of the. In terms of cap, that that really should have been a given though. Uh, since they're still going after Giroux, but I can't. I, I gotta give it a D minus. I I don't I don't like this trade for the mm -hmm. Panthers. I don't. So yeah, that's pretty much our thoughts on the three trades. We'll probably have a lot more trades coming up. Stay tuned for that. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We're trying to hit 800 subscribers by the end of the month. Thank you all so much for your support. Leave a comment down below your thoughts on each trade. Give give it your grades if you want. Uh, we'd love to hear it. Leave a like, all that jazz. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Connor, you'll to for Connor.